Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 142 for Wednesday, March 22nd, 2017. Quick settings. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by BarkBox. BarkBox Paw picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys for your dogs and ships them right to your door. To receive a free month of BarkBox with your 6- or 12-month subscription and free shipping, visit getbarkbox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. A big part of Nougat is the ability to customize the quick settings tiles that appear when you swipe down your notification shade two times consecutively. Got to know that it's there. Uh, there's a big grid of buttons, and it's easy to think that those are static and chosen by the supreme arbiters of Android, but you can change those to include settings that matter most to you. So let's check out a few of the ways that you can do that in this week's roundup. So there are a number of apps in the Play Store that aim to offer a wide assortment of tile functions inside a single app for quick settings. My favorite has been the app that's simply named Tiles. So launching the app, I'm shown a huge list here of supported tiles for each of these. I can tap into them and you get some nice animations to boot. So that's, that's really nice. But you select them and that'll actively make those visible in the quick settings edit menu. I simply switch the tile visibility to on and it'll appear there now. If there are associated permissions required at the system level in order for that function to actually work, I can also switch that over and grant tiles access to that permission so that it works when I use it inside quick settings. So now let's jump into the quick settings pane and you'll have to tap to edit to see any of this stuff. You go to the bottom and you can see the tile for adaptive brightness that I just set up inside the tiles app. I tap and hold that and then drag it up into place where it's going to reside in my quick settings and then I'll back out and that basically accepts the edit. Now, when I tap that tile inside my quick settings, my adaptive brightness setting is toggled on and off. And it's very easy to do, very quick to do. Tiles has an exhaustive list of functions, as you can see here, to bring into your quick settings, and it's well worth the $1.99 price tag. Find it in the Play Store now. Sometimes you simply want duplicity in functionality. After all, even though a setting is easy to get at on one part of the device, if there's a place to put that setting somewhere else that's easier in another part, why not? Ringer modes is a simple quick tile setting to bring the different ringer and vibration modes into your quick settings. Now, before it'll work, you'll need to grant it permission to do its handiwork, of course. Once that's granted, you just jump into the edit mode, drag that tile up into the workspace where it deserves to be, and save it out. Now, every time you tap that button, you'll see it change to represent the ringer mode on your device, be it loud, muted, or vibrate, and that icon is gonna change to reflect that. You can go in there anytime you want and toggle it. Sure, it's not totally necessary, but just because you can, well, you really should. Find ringer modes in the Play Store for free. How about a little quick note-taking from those quick settings? Maybe not something everybody wants to do, but hey, you can do that. Check out Note Down Tile, which I'll be honest, it can be a tad confusing at first if you don't know what to look for, but I'm going to help you out. First, let's edit our quick settings tiles and then drag the note down tile into its place in quick settings. Then I'll go ahead and save that out. Now when I tap that quick setting that I just dropped in there, I'm not really shown anything that you can see here. It doesn't really tell me that the button was pressed. I'd love to see it like change colors or flash for a little bit of confidence. But you may have noticed a little bit of updating in the screen behind the quick settings and notifications. And there it is. As you can see, my space for actually taking a note from my notifications bar, uh, which tapping the quick setting created for me. 
There, I simply tap in the note in all its glory, whatever I want to put there, and accept that note. And I'm then shown the share menu, which appears for me, where I can choose any app on my device to share that quick note out to. Do it a few times, and you'll have the hang of it. You can share it out to Evernote or wherever you want that note to reside. Find Note Down Tile in the Play Store for free. All right, before we move on to a few more quick setting tiles, let's take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that is BarkBox. BarkBox is for all you dog lovers out there. It delivers four to six natural treats and fun toys for your dog that are actually curated around a surprise theme every month. BarkBox Pop picks the best all-natural treats and innovative toys to match your dog's unique needs, including allergies and heavy chewer preferences, just to name a few. All edibles are made in the USA or Canada, and 100% of their products are tested on animals. Their own. They all have dogs at BarkBox. BarkBox is a great way to try a variety of treats and toys from local and small businesses that you may not actually be able to find Otherwise, outside of BarkBox, very boutique items in some cases. BarkBox also makes their own products through their Bark & Co. brand. They've shipped over 16 million toys and treats so far, and getting started is super easy. You just choose the size of your dog. If you have a small and cute dog that's up to 20 pounds, if you have a dog that's just right, uh, 20 to 50 pounds, or big and bold, that's more than 50 pounds. You have to choose a plan, of course. One, six, or 12-month plans are available. You'll get your Bark Box that just kind of arrives at your doorstep. Bark Boxes are shipped on the 15th of each month. And Bark Box will keep your dog happy, interested, engaged. And if your dog doesn't like something in the Bark Box, they'll send you something else for free. When your dog falls in love with something that you happen to get in the box, you can easily find it again on BarkShop.com or inside the Bark Box app. And you can cancel anytime. You're not going to want to, but you can. And shipping is free in the continental U.S. Give your dog the joy of a million belly scratches. Get one month free and free shipping with your six or 12 month subscription by visiting getbarkbox.com slash twit. That's getbarkbox.com slash twit. And we thank BarkBox for their support. All right, up next, three more quick setting tiles, very specific tiles. I think you're going to like these. You may not have known this, but Nougat actually has a file explorer built into the system. You won't find it in the app drawer either, like you might expect. It's actually hidden inside the settings under storage and then explore, but it's totally there. It's a file system that you can get to. Uh, if not inconvenient when you need to get there, that's the problem. You should install Explorage quick settings tiles and wash those frustrations away for good. Explorage hides in the edit mode of your quick settings pane down below. Just look for explore and uh, drag that up into place, of course, accept the change and tap the preview. Immediately, you'll see I'm zapped right over to the built-in explorer inside Nougat and I can get to managing my files as I need to. Easy as pie, but maybe not as delicious. That's Explorage for free in the Play Store. Do you have a connected home? If so, it's possible you may have Philips Hue light bulbs as your smart bulbs of choice. Well, I do, and I freaking love them, but sometimes having to launch an app to turn on my lights might just be a bit much, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can always use a light switch, sure, but that's not the future. Check out Quick Hue, which actually does install an app on your device uh, that you're going to need in order to sync your Hue bridge to the app but that's easy enough, you just tap the button. Uh, next, I'll determine which of the bulbs in my home will be controlled by the Quick Hue Quick Setting. And once that's all done, I just drag that tile into my Quick Settings pane, as you know how to do well by now, save that out and it's there for good. And now anytime I wanna turn the lights on or turn the lights off, I simply swipe to find the Quick Hue tile there in Quick Settings, tap it, and like magic, my freaking lights turn on and off in my living room. This is the future. The future is now. Find Quick Hue in the Play Store for free. You don't always want your screen to stay awake for minutes on end every time you touch your device. Otherwise, your battery, of course, it's going to suffer long term. All those pixels are super battery drains. But sometimes you want a temporary extension of the screen off time, and it can be inconvenient to change that setting on the fly if you have to dive in the settings to do it. Not if you have Caffeinate installed, that is. Once tapped, 
Caffeinate will actually bypass the system setting for screen off timer and set it to five minutes. You'll see there you get a little notification telling you that it's in effect. And if you want to check how long you have, just open up quick settings, take a look at the tile, and you can see the timer counting down to zero from wherever it happens to be at that point. Every time you tap it, you extend it by another five minutes. And if you want to bail, you know, just manually turn off your screen. Next time you turn it on, it won't be running anymore. It's super quick, super easy, and exactly what you want in your quick settings. Find Caffeinate in the Play Store for free. Finally, it's time to announce that this actually is the final episode of Android App Arena. In 142 weekly episodes, I've reviewed somewhere around, oh, I don't know, 560 apps and games from the Play Store. Uh, as of February, by the way, an App Brain report showed somewhere around 2.7 million apps in the Play Store. So let's just say I had a way to go to cover them all. Uh, but it's been a fun challenge to scour the Play Store for high-quality representations of the best that developers offer each and every week. The good news is that app reviews aren't actually really going anywhere. Sure, I won't be reviewing four Android apps every week on this show anymore, but the show that spawned this one, all about Android, still has an incredible end-of-show competition called, well, you guessed it, the Android Arena. We'll always keep that going with three to four apps featured there each and every week. I'll also be contributing one-off Android app reviews to the new screensavers on a more regular basis. In other words, we got you covered. Uh, but it sure has been fun to keep the feedback lines open with you. Some of you are developers, and I ask that you please keep sending in your apps for review. You can still do that to this show's email if you like. That's arena at twit.tv or triple A at twit.tv to send it to all about Android going forward. Either way, featuring your apps has been a bonus perk because uh, it's always great to shine a light on the work of the fans of the Twit network. So thank you for that. Finally, our show archive will always live on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell, and I hope to see you sometime soon in the arena.